Love him or hate him, this will be the last time to see him fight. On November 30, one of the greatest will finally hang up the gloves, but not before one last bout with the golden boy of Australian boxing. Anthony the Man Mundine has fought the world's best. A seasoned fighter with 48 wins to his name, 28 by TKO. Mundine is one of Australia's most recognized and divisive athletes. He is proud and opinionated. I am the best ever. There is no other. What I've done, no one's done. Never before, never again. Look at what I've done, look at what I've achieved. I talk truth, I talk facts. Truth's like a rock. You throw it into a pack of dogs, the one that it hits is gonna bark the loudest. And they've been barking ever since I've been talking. No day, boy, no day. No day in paradise. Now, at the end of his career, he will take on a fighter that represents a new era of Australian boxing. A boxer that Mundine believes epitomizes everything he has fought against his whole life. You know, being a middle class little white fella, like I said, they get that privilege and they get, it's a lot easier. I faced adversity all my life. I've been racially profiled, I've been vilified, I guess, my whole life as a kid. This fight's more than just a fight. Like, if Horn was to do what I've done in my career, you know, a two-sport superstar, jump from one sport at the peak of his powers, highest paid player in the game, and then go on to another sport in boxing, win three world championships. Man, there'll be, there'll be statues and monuments all over the country. I'm a bigger man. I'm the bigger fighter. I'm the stronger fighter. This man is in trouble. You know you're in trouble, boy. You bit off too much now. It's done. You feel your 15 minutes of fame, he's over. It's done. Jeff Horn is the antithesis of Anthony Mundine. Quiet, understated, and not one to make a fuss. He's your average guy that happens to be a world champion. My biggest motivating factor is, is my family, and I'm fighting for them. I think um, everyone's seen probably enough of Mundine and, and the way he's carried on over the years, and uh, people are interested in seeing a new face, and that I can be that new face for boxing. Jeff started boxing to help defend himself from school bullies. What started as a measure to build confidence grew into an all-consuming passion. Under the guidance of his trainer, Glenn Rushton, Jeff has gone from bullied teenager to Olympic amateur to world champion. Now I've given him the resources, the tools that he can overcome all of these people, the loudmouths, the bullies, the that want to push him around. He now has the mental and the physical tools to be able to overcome all of this. Jeff has had to fight this adversity, you know, through all of his life. And he used to say to his mum, you yeah, know, when he'd go home in tears, why me? Why are they just picking on me? Anthony is a bigger, stronger, you know, more vocal opponent. Jeff just has to overcome all of that and just show that no one's going to push him around. This is the man versus the real man. After defeating the legend Manny Pacquiao, Horn would face the world's best pound-for-pound -pound fighter, Terence Crawford. This would be the first loss of his career. Horn is putting it all on the line for this fight. Mundine is a heavier fighter at the end of his career with nothing to lose. If I lost against Mundine now after losing against Crawford, Crawford's one of the best in the world. Everyone looks at Mundine and go, oh, he's a bit past it. If you lose against him, your career's basically over. Cut him up. He's going to get cut up. You're going to see a lot of blood that night. He's nothing but hype. This is a risky fight. Look, I've got a lot of respect to lose if I, if I lost this fight against Mundine. Will the new hope of Australian boxing finally put to rest the crafty veteran? Or will Anthony the Man Mundine again knock down a rising star? On November 30, there can only be one winner, one champion, one chance for redemption. Horn Mundine, order now on mainevent.com.au.